Well, today, everybody, I am sharing with you, as my thumbnail says, the nitty gritty of my kitchen. So I am going to be cleaning behind my stove and behind my fridge and doing a whole fridge clean out. Um, and so, as you can see, as I pull out my stove, it's been, oh, probably two years since I've pulled it out to clean it. And so, um, yeah, it's pretty gunky, gross. I'm just using a vinegar water um, Dawn solution to spray on that with a wet rag. And it works really well, actually. I mean, it's just food grime that gets stuck between the counter and the stove. Just so nasty, I know. But that's just life, and that's what happens. And then I used a toothpick and paper towel to get in that tiny little crevice to get the, all the crummies out on both sides. And that works really well. It's just a wet paper towel with a toothpick. And it's magical. It's wonderful. But these are jobs that people probably despise and hate. And they did take a little bit of time, especially the fridge, like cleaning out all the shelves and stuff, which you'll see. But this just needed to happen. And um, my husband says I'm nesting, but I'm only 20 weeks pregnant, so I don't think I'm nesting yet. Anyway, um, yeah, we must have had some paint marks on the side of the stove and that magic eraser got it off really well. So here's the view of behind the stove. Now there's a little sock under there. It is not my daughter's. It was from the daycare that used to be there, oh, eight plus years ago. I must have missed it last time when we were um, redoing our whole kitchen, which if you wanna check out that kitchen reno that was like three years ago, I'll try to find it and put it in the description box for you. After the whole back end got cleaned up, it was time to go through my bottom drawer. And I did get rid of that mini cupcake tin because I never used it. But I had not wiped this bottom out in quite some time. And as you can tell, it's pretty gross and grimy. So the vacuum was a great friend of mine for this nitty gritty cleaning of these two areas in my kitchen. And again, a wet rag with some Dawn on it really just seemed to do these places justice. I put everything back in. I got rid of two pans and it just fits so much better. I slid the stove back and no, it was not super strenuous. So I know those of you concerned about me being pregnant, it really was not heavy because I didn't lift anything. Um, and then I actually did a self clean of the oven and that was slick. It, it lasted like 300, or lasted three hours at about 500 degrees. Okay, now to my fridge. I do clean the shelves regularly, but I decided to take them out and actually wash them in soap and water because that was the best way to go. And then get all these little wedges because those just dust gets in your fridge even, which is kind of crazy but dust gets in there, food particles, and it just definitely needed to happen. So each shelf got a good washing, and then I dried them and stuck them back in, and oh my goodness, what a change that was. Of course, I took everything off the shelves. Um, just kind of did it in stages, because I didn't want everything to sit out on my table for, this probably took me a good hour and a half I would say. So I cleaned the shelves first, then I did my drawers, and then I did my side drawers there that you can see here. But you have to just take everything out and do a good wipe down. Okay, after the inside of the fridge was all done, it was time to do the top. I do store a couple things in a basket on the top, like my onions and potatoes, but this is nasty as you can tell. And so again, I just wiped that down and then I slid the fridge out. And it's just so incredible how much dust and food crummies get stuck behind the fridge. Um, our fridge actually used to be up on like a two inch ledge. So my husband redid it a couple years ago and put our extra wood that we had left over in the basement um, down 
behind it, which is really convenient. So I just really cleaned the floor with a vacuum first to get the dust off. And then again, went through with a wet rag of vinegar and Dawn. I wiped the walls a little bit too, um, just to get all that dust off and then the floors. And I know it's not an area people see, so vacuuming may have done it just fine. But in my mind, I love the satisfaction of seeing a clean floor, even if it's going to be hidden for another year. <laughs> but it also is good, I think, to clean and vacuum off your vent behind the fridge just so it gets better airflow. So that was done and time to slide it back in. And I just love the satisfaction of getting these nitty gritty jobs done. How how just nice to be able to do that and get everything done with those knowing that it had been a couple years and then uh, just had to clean the fronts again I do wipe my front down of my fridge quite often with having a toddler of course and our water dispenser we don't even have it hooked up but it gets gross in there uh, we have a burpee water filter instead but anyways this was just so satisfying and I do highly recommend if you've got the time to clean behind your bigger appliances so hope this was motivating for you and that you just found inspiration in getting some nitty gritty cleaning done. Love you guys.